So, getting uh, getting ready to go back to building some more on the Learjet. I have one of my panels out on the bench. <clears throat> uh, I'm getting ready to retrofit a couple, of, well, if not all of these switches. These are only two position switches. Uh, they were never interfaced, but uh, and uh, my landing gear switch get it uh, a bit better of a, a switch in there and a knob on it. Uh, right now, actually, I do have the gear indicators are hooked up through uh, PO keys through uh, Mark's utility, and that's about it for this panel. But uh, brings me to the the problem at hand. These white AML caps. Um, you might note from a previous video, these are not the correct ones. I can't put the lenses on these and have them work. I, I ended up ordering incorrect ones due to they were cheaper, which is a relative term. I still think they were about $2.50 a piece. As compared to the ones that do fit, um, these guys are the ones that are in here. And in some of my other positions, they're a deeper AML cap, the proper ones, the ones that are needed for this. These things were ridiculous price. Uh, the last shipment I got to my door was a small handful. I can't remember the exact number, but by the time it got to my door, all in, I had 180 bucks, I believe, in it. It was just absolute insanity. So, uh, that was the end of that. I, after I misordered these ones... I didn't reorder the proper ones. What I did order was a 3D printer. Uh, I think I mentioned it in a, a previous video, um, but I'm going to try to make these. And at the price I paid for the last ones, if I can populate the rest of the cockpit properly with these, that alone will pay for the price of the printer. Um, so for anybody not familiar with them, uh, this is Ron Rolo's uh, caps and bezel, and it just goes over it, and you take these white AML caps and you paint them. Pretty straightforward. It's uh, just a small cap with some indents, and I've painted it black around the edges. So what I did is I took my trusty vernier that I bought at a yard sale for 10 bucks, I believe. It's the same ones we use at work. Uh, except a really old package that's a, a good high quality Starrett. A lot of people will laugh because it's not the digital one, but uh, I am just fine with the uh, the dial indication. I'm pretty familiar with it. So I took it, measured it up, and uh, did my very limited sketching ability in uh, Google SketchUp and made a quick mock up. So I ran it through. Uh, NetFab and MeshLab and check to make sure everything was uh, kosher with uh, 3D models. You have to make sure that there uh, there's no non-manifold edges and whatnot. Um, for anybody familiar with 3D CAD, they'll be a lot better at it than me. But uh, I was able to sketch it up, and uh, my printer is actually only about an hour away from my house, but it's stuck in Canada Post, so... Expect it on Monday. Been waiting a long time for it, but I don't know, five or six months. And uh, yeah, should have that in a couple of days. Tomorrow I'm going to uh, build an extruder fan to uh, to print the the 3D printer prints at 0.3 millimeter layer height by default and does a very good job at that at layer height. Uh, it's quite capable of going down to 0.1 millimeter layer height, so we're talking like small, way quite a bit smaller than the end of this resistor. So uh, I need a I need a fan to cool the layers in between when you're doing small objects and sharp corners and whatnot. So I've got just an old fan that I got kicking around, I've got half a dozen of them. And then I ordered from DigiKey some uh, MOSFET drivers, but they're not exactly just a MOSFET. They uh, they work quite well with uh, the interface boards for pulse width modulation of the fan. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put that together so when the printer gets here, basically it'll be plug and play. And uh, messing around with these um, kind of brought me to another project. I've always had to, um, that's what the resistors are here for, 
is lighting LEDs uh, in the back of the AMLs or the dual AMLs. So I, I use current resistors on my old PC power supply. Last night I ran across on uh, EV, EV blog and uh, various other YouTube pages I started surfing. I found a, I believe it's 5 amp up to 30 volt variable power supply. So I went ahead and ordered that. And at the same time, the same vendor also had a solder rework station, which is a, a forced air station. I love my Unger. This thing is uh, absolutely fantastic. It's served me for one heck of a lot of years. Let's see how much soldering I do. It's quite a bit. Um, but this thing, it has a, a soldering iron built in, which I don't know whether I'm going to use. We'll see how the Unger, <laughs> I'd like to stick with what works. But for the, uh, the solder rework station, I am going to, I have an HP laptop that I've tried to repair the GPU solder joints on a couple of times. And uh, I'm going to try and resolder that GPU when this uh, reflow rework station uh, comes in and see if I can reflow the solder and fix that laptop. I tried twice before and failed, but uh, <laughs> we'll see if third time's a charm. Anyway, uh, so getting ready to build some more layer parts. Uh, I'll throw on the, the 3D CAD drawing of the AML cap, which is nothing fantastic, but should show uh, if, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Thanks for watching.